Hi, I'm Richard Waitis with Magnaflow Exhaust Products. I'm here today to show you guys a brief video on how to sell catalytic converters. Having spent some time behind the counter in retail, as well as working for the manufacturer, I'm going to show you the best ways possible to meet your customers' needs in selling our product. The catalytic converter device is effectively a component that sits after the engine that's used to help clean up the air we breathe. Obviously, they've got the hydrocarbons, the carbon dioxides, all that stuff is fine and dandy, but really what it comes down to is unburnt fuel, the hydrocarbons, and of course carbon monoxide. That's the poisonous gas that can kill you. We're in the business of making products that can limit those things and make the cars run cleaner. The catalytic converter effectively takes what comes out of that tailpipe and acts as a filter. Inside of these cats, we have a substrate. This is that ceramic honeycomb that's inside that contains these precious metals, and as well a wash coat. These two components are what the uh, catalytic converter uses, along with engine heat, to convert these harmful unburnt fuels known as hydrocarbons and things such as carbon monoxide into obviously water vapor and carbon dioxide, both things that are less harmful to the environment. The most important part about selling catalytic converters is qualifying your customer. We're going to go over the three most common scenarios you may run into in qualifying your customer. The first scenario you're likely to run into is the case where the customer has already had the vehicle diagnosed. A professional diagnostic includes a repair. This means the problem that caused the converter failure has already been addressed. This happens to be the easiest situation where you can move right along into selecting the right converter. The second scenario you're likely to run into is where the customer approaches you with a check engine light. Now this one is a little bit more complicated than the first as the car may have not received a professional diagnostic and may have additional required repairs. Such things as rich run conditions, lean run conditions, these cause the original cat to fail and if go unaddressed will cause the new cat replaced to fail as well. In the third scenario, the customer might approach you with a damaged or missing catalytic converter. Now, a physically damaged converter might happen through an accident, uh, off-roading a truck, high centering it, but you'll notice this by a rattling type of cat or something that physically is wrong with it. In the worst case scenario, you might actually have a cat that was stolen or cut out of the vehicle. In this case, we can move right along into selecting the right converter. After qualifying the customer, it's time to select the right converter. In order to select that right converter, we need to consider a few things. First of which is the type of converter, whether the person is going to need a universal or a direct fit. Then to consider the application, is this going to be on a California car or a 49 state based car? And then ultimately to determine the right grade of product based upon the application. The first thing we need to determine is what exactly does that customer need? We have a direct fit and a universal. A direct fit as you can see in the product in my hand, it has an interface on either end and, like the name implies, is made to fit directly into the vehicle. It requires little fabrication, if none, and also basic hand tools. A universal, on the other hand, as you can see, has a, a pretty much straight through design. You're going to have to do some degree of pipe fabrication, articulation, cutting and welding might be required, but ultimately it's something that uh, the average user may not have the capacity to do, and we want to make sure the consumer knows this before taking home the product. The next step is to determine whether we're dealing with a California or a 49 state car. A California car is one that's registered and operated in the state of California. A 49 state refers to any other vehicle being registered outside the state of California. The final step is selecting the right grade of catalytic converter. For 49 state OBD2 applications, there's only two choices. We have our HM heavy metal and our OEM grade. The HM, or heavy metal grade, is intended for use on 49 state applications with a federal or EPA certification. While the OEM grade is intended for California ARB certified applications registered and operated outside the state of California. The easiest way to find this information is to look in the engine compartment of the vehicle. There is an emissions tag which states the certification level and this can be located either under the hood, on the strut tower, or on the front core support. For vehicles registered and operated in the state of California, the choice is easy. There's only one choice. You need a California ARB approved catalytic converter. For pre-OBD2 vehicles, and these are vehicles 1995 and older, we have our standard grade. For 49 state applications registered and operated outside the state of California, we'll need to first reference the emissions tag. On the emissions tag, we'll need to determine what type of converter is on the vehicle. This can be a two-way, three-way, or three-way plus air. In addition to that information, we can also find the engine size as well as the gross vehicle weight. Once we have all that, we can use one of our reference tools and select the right converter. For pre-OBD2 vehicles registered and operated in the state of California, selecting the converter is done by application, by year, make, and model of that vehicle. Magnaflow has been in the business of developing and manufacturing catalytic converters for about 30 years. Being the industry leader, we've had to make a substantial investment into cutting-edge technology. 
This includes CNC automation, uh, robotic manufacturing, and a very sophisticated distribution system. All in all, this helps us build a quality product that we can make sure is on the shelf when you need it. There are three things that separate us from our competition. The first of those features is stainless steel construction. The stainless steel is not only in the body, but also in the inlets and outlets. The second feature is going to be the lap joints. The lap joints connecting the body to the inlets and outlets has actually got a quarter inch of material before the welding is actually conducted. And the third feature is the warranty. For vehicles operated outside the state of California, we have a five-year construction warranty and 25,000 mile emissions warranty. For those vehicles operated and registered in the state of California, we have a five-year 50,000 mile warranty all-encompassing. In addition to the resources you have available, Magnaflow also makes available our website at www.magnaflow.com. We have our print catalogs, both California and 49 state, and we can be reached on our tech line at 800-990-0905. From all of us at Magnaflow, we want to thank you for your time.